Something that many landlords have asked us to do over the years is to include in their tenancy agreement a clause requiring the tenant to professionally clean the property at the end of the tenancy. Now unfortunately that's not something they can do. Why? Our old friend the Tenant Fees Act. Under the Act you're not permitted to assign cleaning costs to a tenant. But here is what you can do and it's really just as effective. Before the tenancy begins, bring in cleaners, have the whole property cleaned from top to bottom until it is sparkling and you can see your own face in the hob. Next, record a thorough inventory that documents the entire property from top to bottom. Every corner, nook and cranny must be documented in written form and photographed and that inventory provided to the tenant when they move in. They check through the inventory, sign off on it, so you have a lasting record of the property's condition at the start of the tenancy. Come the end of the tenancy, your tenancy agreement should include a clause that requires the tenant to clean the property to a standard that is commensurate with the cleaning that was done before they moved in. That is permitted. It's entirely up to the tenant whether they wish to roll up their sleeves and do the cleaning themselves, or if they wish to pay someone to come in and do it. As long as it's cleaned to the right standard, there won't be a problem. If it's not, that's where the deposit comes in. You as the landlord are permitted to use your inventory as evidence of the cleaning that was done before the tenancy started. You can take photos at the checkout to show it hasn't been cleaned to the same standard. And you can propose cleaning costs that will bring the property up to the standard you set at the start of the tenancy.